This is a really wonderful moment for me and our organization, Open Door Pride, to have an award that we created in 2017. Actually, we created it and um, gave out our first award in 2018 to the amazing Sandy Brown. Sandy Brown, come on over here. You, you would name, we're naming an award after someone. It's got to be pretty special. And individuals like Sandy don't necessarily like to be in the limelight. But So this is a big deal. So thank you, Sandy, every year right here. Sandy Brown started the very first chapter of PFLAG in Door County. And that's in what year? 25 years ago. Whatever okay, 25 years ago. How about that? <laughs> How many people are under 25? <laughs> it's thanks to Sandy Brown <laughs> that we're able to be here. Because 25 years ago, this foundation started to, to grow. And then we gave our first award um, after... Sandy Brown, and we named it for Sandy Brown, we gave it to the, the group of amazing students in Gibraltar. And they formed a group, and they had a lot of problems with their school boards, and they, they got the opportunity to form their, their saga group. And then after that, we gave the award to Third Avenue Playhouse, now Third Avenue Play Works. Jacob Jensen is here, because you know theater. Theater gives us these characters. You want to say something about that? Uh, well, sure. I just think one of the things that I love so much about the theater is it's so incredibly collaborative, and it is absolutely founded on community. And what I think is so exciting and important about all of the work that Sandy and Kathy and the rest of the folks who make this event possible is they are dedicated to this community and making it as open and welcoming for every single person to be part of this community and participate in it. And I'm just so thrilled to be here with all of you and to be in a place where I get to raise my family in a, a wonderful, open, and affirming environment. This is really fabulous. Thank you. Jacob Jensen. The award that was uh, Jacob Jensen at the um, Third Avenue Play House, now Play Works, was created um, by Ellison Bay Pottery. And the year before that, it was Chelsea Littman. And the year before that, it was Jeremy Papelka. And these artists are amazing artists. We, we are so honored to have incredible talented artists and these are unique pieces we asked them to make two pieces it's a legacy one goes to the recipient and one goes to open door pride that hopefully will be in the the miller museum or in uh the historical society it's archival it's really important that we tell these stories and we have um the artists come um stephanie trencher did the amazing art piece for right on Door County. Last year was our recipient. I'm still looking for Dee Paulson if she's in the audience. And okay, well, Dee, you're, you're, we love you. We love what your organization right on. Right on Door County has done so much for bringing in LGBTQ plus um, authors and having residencies and just being out there supporting the community. Board members here are, are we're, we're just so honored to have such an award. Um, this year's recipient, we're going to reveal in a minute, but the artist is Claudia Anderson Schmecka, who is standing with the beautiful, beautiful um, yellow overalls, coveralls. And she's been all day in the M3 gallery w doing art with kids and donated all that, all of her time and everything. And uh, that's the other thing. We asked these artists to donate their time to create these pieces. They're, this is not just you know getting a plaque. This is a real unique piece. Claudia, can you come up on stage, please? Sunshine, come on. Do you want to read that? Do you want to read this? Okay. All right. It's my pleasure to let you know that the committee has met and we sent out uh, numerous. Request for nominees for our 2022 Sandy Brown Award. And this year, we're expanding in a little bit. It's not just going to a person or an organization. It's going to a municipality. We're giving it to the city of Sturgeon Bay. <laughs> we would not be here in the, in the way we are today without the proclamation six years in a row. Oh, and Dee, that Dee has arrived. Dee is here from right on Door County. Dee, would you like to take the award out of the box and present it and pass it on to the 
City represented Spencer Gustafson and Helen Bacon. And this art piece is created by Claudia Schmecka. I'd like Claudia to explain the award, and then I'd like the city to say something, too. I was hoping you could explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my specialties or that I like doing is working with uh, three-dimensional objects, with texture, and with papers. And so when I was asked and honored to take on this um, amazing uh, experience, I had frames made, my husband Tony Schmecka makes the frames, and then I add all of this paper and collage material uh, and texture. And I represent, I wanted it to represent Sturgeon Bay, so there's a lot of references there. So. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> For the past six years, the city of Sturgeon Bay has issued a proclamation in honor of Open Door Pride. The first year it was declaring Open Door Pride Day in the city. The second year, Open Door Pride Week. For the past four years, that has expanded to Open Door Pride Month. As the length of time for the proclamation has increased, so has the city of Sturgeon Bay's efforts to embrace diversity and inclusion for all increased. We were able to hold the festival here in Martin Park thanks to cooperation among the many departments in the city, including Parks and Recreation, the Police Department, among others. And as you heard earlier today, these wonderful members of the council read the proclamation, and they read it each year from the stage. We know this isn't easy. We know that the city receives emails and calls from citizens unhappy with the proclamation and the pride flag flying here in Martin Park. But the city, city has stood firm in their support for our festival and the support of all LGBTQ citizens and visitors. Each year we get more requests from Sturgeon Bay businesses to have pride flags and stickers to display. Without affirmation from the city, we would not be receiving these requests. Honoring and respecting diversity and welcoming all is good for business, and it makes the city of Sturgeon Bay a great place to call home. I'm proud to call this place home. <laughs> to all who work for the city, thank you. Thank a city worker. To our city council and mayor, Dave Ward, who was here earlier today and apologized he could not be here for, he had a former engagement, but he was on the stage and he held that award. And a heartfelt appreciation for your words of support and affirmation. So we are really proud to present you with the 2022 Sandy Brown Award. Yeah, it's truly an honor to receive this award. Uh, this is truly a beautiful day, filled with a lot of beautiful people. Um, doesn't matter who you love in Sturgeon Bay, we just want people to be happy. And uh, happy towns are stronger towns in my eyes. So just be happy and that's all I can say and it's truly an honor. I'd just like to say again, thank you very much. And everyone deserves to live in Sturgeon Bay and Everyone deserves to live here peacefully, hap happily, and contribute to this wonderful city. I'm so proud to be part of the um, council. That's not something I ever imagined I would be doing when I was growing up, the last thing, actually. But it really has been just so rewarding to you know, be a part of the city and be a part of um, trying to make this a uh, city that everyone can live in and enjoy. Um, I know there's problems. I, w I work with great people, and it's so much fun to try to solve some of those problems. So thank you all very much for this. This is awesome. Thank you.